From the Tribune News Network, this is Newsbreak. I'm Kirk Smith. Health officials will be watching the coronavirus numbers closely over the upcoming Labor Day holiday weekend. The numbers at the end of the weekend could determine where the country is in controlling the third wave. Scott Island, parts of Andros, and parts of the Barry Islands heading into what they hope will be their final weekend lockdown as officials try to contain recent outbreaks there. And there are some positive signs. The ministry reporting 29 cases confirmed in the country for Tuesday. None of them in those islands, though. They're hoping that trend continues. All 29 cases for Tuesday in the capital. Keeping an eye on the hospital numbers also, they dropped for Tuesday. 49 persons now being monitored, four of them in the ICU. No other deaths reported in the pier. The total remains 230. Health officials also urging persons to continue to vaccinate. They maintain it's the quickest way out of the emergency situation. The government will be paying attention to the numbers in Haiti going forward. After declining initially, that country has now decided to accept vaccine from the regional body COVAX. In an attempt to slow the spread there, our government has traveled restrictions in place for Haiti because of the numbers there and the reluctance of the Haitian government to accept vaccine. This is news break from the Tribune News Network. PLP Deputy Leader Chester Cooper is the lead man for the opposition side in the budget debate now underway in the House. He's calling it an election budget and says, among other things, they have major concerns about the growing deficit. We are getting to a point of no return. And a new administration will have to look under every rock and make some tough choices early on to stabilize the situation. The budget exercise will take about three weeks to get through Parliament. The Ministry of Finance will announce in time the date for that hurricane-related VAT holiday announced in the House yesterday by the Prime Minister. You won't have to pay VAT on a number of hurricane-related supplies on that date. The government promising to fix the situation for those student nurses who demonstrated outside the House yesterday. They want to finish their COVID-19 interrupted training so they can graduate. House Speaker Moultrie backing the government's shantytown demolition policy. In fact, he wants some in the Nassau Village constituency to be removed. Labor Day activities scaled back due to ongoing coronavirus restrictions. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper. Back on the streets Monday morning. Stay up to date online over the weekend at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's overnight AccuWeather weather update brought to you by Bahamas Power and Light, BPL. Partly cloudy tonight. Showers may still be around. Overnight lows from the low to upper 70s, 74 at Freeport, 76 in the capital, 78 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories overnight. Wind settling at 10 to 15 knots. The sea's 2 to 4 feet. High tide now. The next low around 10 this evening. Friday's forecast, partly cloudy. Highs in the mid-80s. Maybe a passing shower. No systems in the tropics. No weather update brought to you by Bahamas Powered Light, BPL. Through all severe weather situations, they will be there by your side. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. Do you want to increase your sales? Then advertise your business in the Tribune, the leading newspaper in circulation. Reach the market that will keep your registers ringing. Give your business the maximum exposure at an affordable investment. Advertise in our Home Buyer's Guide, Insight, Women, or Obituary sections. Let us help you get your business to the Bahamas and to the world with our online advertising spots. Professional advertising reps are waiting to offer you advertising packages to suit your budget. And consultations are free. The Tribune, your answer to increased sales. Call our sales department today, 502-2394, or visit us on Shirley Street. The Tribune, the people's paper, biggest and best. World News headlines, they don't know if it will hold, but that coalition government has been agreed in Israel, and it means that Prime Minister Netanyahu could be out after 12 years in office. The agreement still has to be approved by the Israeli parliament. Netanyahu says either way he will not bow out of Israeli politics, he could end up as opposition leader. The Pan-American Health Organization watching the spread of the coronavirus in a number of Central American countries, including Colombia and Peru, where cases and deaths continue to climb. The U.S. continuing its space program and expanding it, now sending two craft to Venus. Sports Notes now brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. You can check out some stuff on TV. There's always soccer. Major League Baseball, Jazz and the Marlins open a series in Pittsburgh tonight. 
after completing that series against the Blue Jays. The NBA playoffs continued tonight. DeAndre and the Suns in Game 6 against the Lakers, leading 3-2 in the series. It's in Los Angeles. And the Suns win and they move on. Same for Denver and Portland. The Nuggets win and they move on and they play tonight. John Quell Johnson, the Sun, off again tonight. Next up, New York tomorrow. There's tennis, more of the French Open on TV, and a big women's golf tournament. The U.S. Open is on this weekend. For all of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories. In the Tribune newspaper, on the streets first thing in the morning, stay up to date online all weekend at Tribune242.com.